All right, here we go. Uh, we're honored today to have Dr. Khan, who is a medical doctor in the front lines of the whole coronavirus battle right now in the hospitals of Las Vegas, uh, speaking to us today. And uh, ironically enough, uh, Dr. Khan has an alter ego uh, as a rapper by the name of Lazarus, who's actually been on tour with Wu-Tang and has songs with people like Ghostface and, and Royce the Five Nine, which we're gonna cover at the end of the interview. But I think right now it's very important with the whole world going through the whole coronavirus situation to really get some information from someone that actually is working with the disease day to day. And I wanna get into some of these questions, but first I wanna talk about your background a little bit. So at what point did you decide to become a doctor? Man, I was probably maybe eight years old around the time when my, uh, my grandmother died of diabetes. And uh, there was a, just a pondering question that came upon me at that time where I just, you know, I, I questioned myself, like, why did she leave the earth? Like, why is she no longer on this planet? And then when I started to learn about diseases and pathologies and she had diabetes and I started, you know, questioning all those things, it kind of made me, uh, you know, want to pursue the career of medicine. And I started becoming inquisitive. I started following doctors around. I became infatuated with doctors. And, um, you know, over the course of years, the years and stuff, I just stayed in tune with it. I started excelling really well in school. And it's like, what are you going to, what are you going to do? What are you going to be when you grow up? And it was a doctor. You know what I'm saying? So. Dope. Yeah. Dope. So you went to high school. Yep. And then you went to college where? I went to college at Wayne State University in Detroit. Okay. And at that point you were pre-med? Yeah, I was pre-med biology major at that time. And um, so, you know, I was basically just all in the books, man, you know, between doing the hip hop, which I was doing, I was also, you know, pursuing medicine at the same time. But I didn't know what I was going to be at that time. But I kept doing well. I was doing organic chemistry, biology, and then... I got accepted to medical school at Michigan State University. Okay, so that's where you did your graduate program. Yeah. Okay, so for those that don't know, you do four years undergrad. Right. Then you go to graduate school, medical school for how many years? Four years. Four more years. Right. So that's eight years. That's eight years right there. Then once you graduate, then you start your residency. Right, so I did residency for three years. Okay, so this is 11 years. It's, it's, it's a lot of years, man. Yeah. For those that uh, want to become a doctor, it's 11 years on top of the 12 years that you've right. already and that, done. And, that, and, that's, and that's like backbreaking work too. It's not like 11 years that pass by. Like you got to literally put in like 16 to 18 hours a day on days repeatedly back to back to back to back. You basically give up your whole, you know, uh, teenage years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Your 20s are gone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You have no time to, you know, phone call your family. Like that's how busy it gets over there. So it's a, you know, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, this is why when people say doctors don't know anything and you shouldn't listen to doctors, uh, you've just devoted 23 years, hold on, uh, four plus three, seven, 10 plus 12, 22 years of your life right. of learning to call yourself Dr. Khan. Absolutely. Okay, before coronavirus, there was other, what I would call similar type of viruses that were circulating around the world. Uh, there's SARS, yeah. H1N1, right. the swine flu, mm -hmm. uh, any that I'm forgetting? Um, those were the main ones, I would say, like, you know, besides just the regular influenza, different strains that came every year. But yeah, the swine flu, um, that, was, uh, that was 2009. We okay. had the SARS before it. Those are the two big ones that people talked about. It was Ebola, but you know what I'm saying. Ebola, yeah, yeah. that's another one. Uh, so did you actually deal with patients with any of these conditions? No, I didn't deal with any of those uh, outbreak situations. And I think SARS was, that was just a, you know, that wasn't a pandemic situation like yeah. this is. Um, H1N1, I remember 2009 at that time, um, there was a lot of talk about it, but it was at that time, you know, it was downplayed, but I feel like it was rightfully downplayed. It wasn't, even the mortality rate for that was very small. Okay. So then the coronavirus pops up. Right. At what point did you first hear about it? Um, man, I, I heard about it um, maybe like uh, in January. You know, I started hearing, hearing a little bit of buzz about it. And it's like you, you hear a little bit about it and then you don't think too much about it. You just think, oh, it's just going to fade away. There's it's not really too much more to it. And then as time went by, you started hearing more about it and more about it. And then you're hearing this is going on in China. And then 
you know, got to the point where all this, you know, on social media, all the platforms is talking about coronavirus, coronavirus, coronavirus. I, just like everybody else, wasn't really taking it serious. I was just like, okay, well, this is going to pass by real fast. Hey, it's just another flu. You know what okay. I'm saying? So they say this, that it started in Wuhan, China. Right. And it started to really get very serious in China where you had more and more cases. Wuhan was essentially ground zero. Mm-hmm. And it started to spread into other places in China. And then it started to hit Europe. And it started to hit yeah. the United States. At what point did you say, okay, this might be a real serious thing right now? Um, when you started hearing about the cases in Italy and China, and then it, st- it starts growing all, and then you start, you know, they, they start looking at the charts of how the how the spread is happening, and then you see it starting to just slowly spread all over all around the world. And that, the, and, and it was the, it was a question of whether this is going to be a you know, if it's going to be an epidemic or if it's actually going to become officially a pandemic. Mm -hmm. And it was like, at that time, when it officially became a pandemic, when we were like, okay, we got to take this a little bit more serious because before we know it, we're going to start seeing patients in the hospital with these uh, symptoms that people are having for the coronavirus. But even at that time, nobody was taking it serious to what it actually is. Okay. And what exactly is coronavirus? So coronavirus, uh, you know, it's a, it's an RNA virus, um, which makes up the, you know, the, 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 uh, molecular components of it. And what, uh, the virus is basically, you know, it's the coronavirus is the, co- the common cold is also a coronavirus. This just happens to be a different, um, you know, basically in the same family as what the other coronavirus is, but this virus is doing things that those previous viruses in the coronavirus family never did before. And that's what's making uh, that's what's making it so crazy. What do you mean that it's doing things that it, the other? So ones the symptoms. Do? You're no longer. You're not just having the same type of common cold symptoms. Like you're having flu-like symptoms, and and after those flu-like symptoms go away, then the virus goes down into your lower respiratory tract, and you start getting pneumonia. And that never happened. You don't get that happening with the flu. Now with the flu, if you have a bacterial pneumonia on top of you know that is superimposed on your infection, that's different. But this is a viral pneumonia. So it's a different story. Okay. And does this coronavirus spread faster than a typical flu or a cold? It seems to be spreading faster. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 